There once was a girl who was very hard to teach, and her favorite thing in the world was to play on the beach. The girl did not like her school lessons from the teacher, Mrs. Carroll. She would rather surf waves and ride big barrels. Her parents always taught her, girl, you better never lie, to always give great effort and a respectful reply. But the girl, she wouldn't listen. She had a mind of her own. Although she was young, she thought she was grown. So as time went on, the girl continued to lie. She gave poor effort and a rude reply. The girl did not respect her elders the way that she should, and in school she did not try even though she could. So eventually the girl's antics, they became problematic, and her parents devised a plan to teach her a lesson. They called up an old friend to meet their daughter at her next surf session, for a swell it was a brewing in the middle of the ocean. The parent's friend was enormous, and he lived deep in the blue. He was a gentle whale, and his name was Stu. So the following day, as the sun began to rise, the girl looked out the window and could not believe her eyes. The waves, they were perfect. She could see them for miles, one after the next, piles upon piles. So instead of attending class, the girl came up with a lie. She would rather surf waves than read the catcher in the rye. When the girl reached the beach, the sand was warm beneath her toes. Then she jumped in the ocean and got salt water in her nose. The waves, they, they were larger than normal, and it started to storm. Something was not right. It was out of the norm. Then all of a sudden, the girl heard a loud grumble. She could not believe her eyes as she started to tumble. The girl thrashed and crashed and fell through the dark. She couldn't see anything, not even a spark. Wherever the girl landed had a very foul smell. And then the girl realized she had been swallowed by a whale. The first thing the girl did was yell for help, but it just echoed back. Help, help, help. It was gooey, it was smelly, and it was utterly gross. And the girl couldn't stand it, but there was nowhere to go. How can this happen? I've been swallowed by a whale. Its ribs are so big, it feels like I'm in jail. I have to get back to my daddy and mommy, or Mrs. Carroll will call them and tell them I'm tardy. So the girl punched and kicked and scratched and clawed, but no matter what she did, Stu just swam along. Now the girl was in tears. She was doomed, and it was obvious. Then out of the corner of her eye came a sparkling white octopus. The octopus was magnificent and wore a glistening golden crown. He said his name was Alvin and asked to sit down. Surfer girl, why are you in this whale's belly so deep in the ocean? Humans live on land. You must be causing commotion. Why don't you fess up? Please tell me with no fibs. If I was in your situation, I'd miss my family and friends. So the girl honestly, reluctantly, and nervously told Alvin all that she had done. She admitted to lying and being rude to her mom. She admitted to bullying the small kids at school and realized that sticking up for others was actually cool. The girl promised to apologize to everyone she hurt. She promised to attend class where all the learning occurred, and she promised to respect her elders like a good girl should. Because of her sincerity, again there was a grumble. The girl could not believe her eyes as she started to tumble. She thrashed and crashed and fell through the dark. Then all of a sudden, she was back on the beach with her surfboard. From that moment forward, the girl was a role model at school. Always courteous, she told the nerdy kids they were cool. She continued to surf and was the best in the world. And everywhere she went, she told the story of her youth. So the rest of your lives, remember this wise tale. If you're naughty, nasty, or a knucklehead, you might be swallowed by a whale.